Imagine all your work and tasks getting completed in seconds. The work that takes lots of time in months gets completed in seconds. And chatbot that can help you get your video viral. And chatbot that can make your website in seconds. Don't believe me? See this video. Here this chat Bob is given a scenario to write the code for a website related to Bitcoin price chart. And see it has written the code in seconds. This chatbot can solve even the most complex mathematical equations. It can even write an email for you to your boss or create a resume for your new job in seconds. This chatbot can do all this in seconds, and that too without spending a penny. And I think the real question is, can it replace Google? Yes, I am talking about ChatGPT3, which was made by a company named OpenAI. This company used to be a non-profit organization, but now it is a for-profit organization. Let's first try to understand that. What exactly is ChatGPT? Nagar GPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. ChatGPT is simply a trained chatbot that easily understands human languages and can give you huge amounts of data on the basis of inserted text. Now, here are the two main terms. First, pre-trained. Meaning this chatbot is already trained. Basically, all the chatbots that we have today are all copycats, you know. With experience, a child learns to speak, right? How do we tell them that this animal is known as a dog? Simply by showing them photos or videos of dogs. Now, artificial intelligence is trained in the same way. We give it all the data that is required in the form of text, images, and videos. And the system automatically trains itself. But the problem with this method is that if the given data is already wrong, the result will also be wrong. And the second term is transformer. And this transformer model was first made by Google's brain in 2007. And now used by this chatbot. Now the question is, is ChatGPT really so powerful? The simple answer is yes. Let's understand that with this very easy example, suppose you have asked the chatbot to write an essay. On the cow, now here in the back end, two processes will work. First, the chatbot will write thousands of essays related to cows. And secondly, the chatbot will choose the most relevant essay to show you at the front end. It doesn't matter if the essay is 100% accurate or not, it will show you the most relevant essay according to the data it has. It's up to you if you want to use it or not. Similarly, if you ask chatbot to write a story on something, the chatbot will write the story in many creative ways, but on the other hand, if you ask it to give tips on SEO, your site is definitely going to fail. But for now, chatting with GPT is free. It is useful in many creative ways, but you can't completely depend on it. But the most interesting question is, if OpenAI's chatbot is gaining so much popularity, why is Google not launching its own chatbot? Well, Google recently introduced Lemda 2, which is specially made to give you the exact answer, not like other chatbots that give answers in essays. But Google hasn't launched it yet. Why? Well, let's say you have asked an important question related to your business to this chatbot, but somehow, it gives you the wrong answer. Now what will you do? I think in most cases, people wouldn't even care if they got the right or wrong answers. But what will happen if Google's Lemba gives wrong answers? It will definitely affect the reputation of Google, and Google knows this. That's why Google is working hard to make Lemba perfect. Because a startup like OpenAI can take risks to test their products, but an established company like Google can't even think of it. That's all for my side guys if you learned something valuable, and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button.